It's like rut roll. You trying to figure out what the fuck is going on because now everybody want to act like Scooby Doo. Now everybody who's narcissistic want to act like they not narcissistic. Now you seeing people pick up your traits and trying to be cool and holy. It's just given like how people you seen as toxic or demonic. Now they acting all goody two shoes. What the fuck is going on here? It's like somebody want to be like you. You got everybody want to be like you. Want to get right with God with the sun card. Because they seeing that you you going through a rebirth. They noticing being toxic ain't getting them nowhere but planning for, foresight and keeping them stuck. They wonder how they money. Somebody's seeing like after you broke up with them or did a core cutting. Maybe they know or don't know that all that bad luck springtime as confirmation. Like it's all, like all of a sudden you getting all the balance. You're looking good. Your manifestation is coming in while this person is going through the fucking six of swords ain't gonna have to leave something or a relationship is coming to the end oh well when this person try to spin a block and you already know they had another option tell them to stay where the fuck they at okay this person gonna regret that shit i feel like y'all don't even address shit like you you soap at peace with the world like it says in john 14 verse 20 17 i think it's john 14 verse 16 there's a verse there's a verse let me see i'm gonna yeah, it was for it was John 14 verse 20. The peace I leave with you, the peace I give to you, not as the world give, give t I to you. Some of y'all not even going back and forth with these people because you pray for your enemies and you pray for the people that do wrong to you. Because some of them have to realize in this next segment called of 2024 full of karmics, getting a karma and you're getting your abundance in order for you to get what you want. Especially people who are karmic and demonic. What they love most, what they stress about, they stay up middle of the night, can't sleep, and dream about, is wealth. And if they want to get right, it's through God. It's not through the devil. Oh, wow. Ain't that a shocker. Ain't that the shockers. And now you know what the hell they were serving the whole fucking time. Some of y'all could have looked at these people weird because they came up lustful. It's like they say the wrong thing. Okay, I'm out of here. Yeah, you staying away from somebody that's narrow-minded. The Queen of Wands in reverse is somebody who likes to sleep with people with money. You ain't take you you so focused on your six of wands with the people. It's like these are the people that we used to hate on. If I seen the five of wands, people who was in competition with you. People coming to you with a chivalrous opp opportunity. Some people may not feel like they're good enough because you been all in the all on your own. But this is what happens when you're an independent woman and, or, or an independent man. People left you to figure it out. So you have this mentality where people might lay you your expensive. You could have Baccarat Delilah or a, a, a guy. You could have a, a expensive $300 cologne. It's just that it's either you on my level dating or not. Some of y'all ain't even giving people the chance anymore because you used to. Someone fucked that shit up. Dating someone that don't make the same amount. Some of y'all was thinking it's a Hallmark movie where there was a Hallmark movie I used to love watching. Still do. Where this guy fell in love and he's a teacher and the girl's a six-figure woman. But the fact is they fell in love because, you know, it wasn't based off how much they made. It was really on the love they gave for each other. But in this situation... I feel like the more you keep dealing with people that is broke, disgusted, and, um, you know, busted, that's what it says on this card, literally, you learning that people ain't, they secretly and deceptive, and, like, the ball is in your court. The ball is in your court. Hold on, I'm about to find the card, too, because I, I just remember that card. It's like you focus on self. You ain't focus on nothing else, and that's the truth and the clarity. Okay. You don't got time for anybody bringing you anxiety, suffering when you already lost loved ones. I feel like when you was down bad, people could have made it seem like you didn't care because you didn't cry much, but you was crying behind closed doors. You was the one putting the, the funeral together. You was the one helping and contributing when nobody else had the money. So I, I'm trying to figure out why they trying to come at an earth angel. The queen of pentacles in the upright is the earth angel. A person that's a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. It's like people just want to attack you. It's the ones that don't got their shit together. They don't got the shit together with the queen of swords in reverse. This is a person that's manipulative. This is the person that will sleep with their boyfriend or girlfriend. Because this could be a man or woman. I don't be looking at this gender specific. You feel me? This is a person that will sleep with this person raw and try to make you feel some type of way. This person is evil. This person is low of the low. Now they can't sleep. Now something's haunted them. Now they feel like something. I don't know. Somebody thought you was playing. 
when you got angels on the other side because the way the way you felt when you lost that loved one it's like that person's always going to respect you and care for you because you do things. You probably even give offerings or give them things that they like here on this earth in remembrance of them. You feel me? Eight of Pentacles, you sitting here minding your business and you ain't even paying attention to the attack. It's like God just telling you, I got them. You keep focusing. I forgot there was a there was a verse I was listening. Don't seek revenge. I think it's Psalms 109. Don't seek revenge because whoever this person is, they ain't going to do shit. But talk like they always do. That's it. They just looking at you either with a stank look or being like, damn, why she so happy? Like, with the King of Wands, it's like a, it, this is how you know you're powerful. You, you had two people come against you. Two people that had the audacity. They don't have money. They disharm me. They don't even trust each other. It's like two fucking karmics. For some of you ladies who date ladies, two ladies coming together trying to attack you. If this don't make you feel special, that. <laughs> You got people that's attacking you. It's like what Nicki Minaj said. What she said? What she said? Beep, beep, beep. Is that beef? You coming up to me? Like, you don't even know these people that well. Like, what got them all tickled? Because you take care of yourself? Don't you, they? This is the problem. This is the problem. You take care of yourself just how these older folks. This is why these older folks be making fun of these young people. Because y'all so intrigued of taking and tearing people down. And older folks are helping one another. The Latina co culture is helping one another. The only culture, and y'all already know what culture I'm talking about. Y'all can comment it below. That want to tear down. You can even comment what you want to feel. You feel me? But it's given like you, you disagreeing to disagree. You probably end the conflict. Like, don't come at me when you had a whole girlfriend the whole time saying she cheated on you. You making it seem like I left you for something and I was trying to work on myself. Because I felt like this was not going to go nowhere. You felt like you dating this woman. She going through something financially because I had a friend saying that. And this person dragging you through the mud. The hell? It's like people want you to be okay with they bullshit. That's confirmation. Like, why they juggy you? Why they try to decide? You could decide on the sidelines, okay? I'm I'm not dealing with that. Like, you know, you being benched. This this king this king of cut. This is a person that's very forceful, mind you, okay? This is a person who likes to use force that will ask a lot of questions. You know, be careful. This person could have, you know, someone could have said no and they still went pursuing what they want to do. You put two and two. I don't like that type of energy. So you need to stay away from people like that. This person could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and I do apologize that happened to you because this person going to go to hell. To be honest, they're going to see you get everything you want. Anything this person wanted, you going to have it. It's like double reverse uno. You in the Ten of Pentacles. And this person want to know what type of magic. You ain't did no magic. The thing is, people got to understand this God. This person has a God complex. This is a person that really believe in their own fucking delusion. They feel like their intuition, but they not listening to the most high. They listening to the man downstairs. Lost. Don't take no accountability. This could be a Libra or a distorted Virgo. I feel like you not paying attention to this Sagittarius Aries. Like, you not paying attention. You getting rest. You planning the vacations. You not going back and forth with a manipulating a narcissist that's not going to even say they that narcissistic. They couldn't even told you they need to heal. This person lacks faith. This person wants to be the devil. This person wants to be toxic. This person can't even save their own money. Why are you sitting here looking beautiful about to get all the luxury and handsome um, self about to be traveling back to back? You ain't paying attention. I shuffled the card. Double confirmation. Like... What are we what are we talking about? This person just wanted attention. Now you got twenty four hour attention. Now go hiss. You feel me? If you're Aquarius, you already know. This is a death. This is an end to a situation. This person wanted you to feel like you know, I feel like hurt. Child. Y'all like, comment, subscribe, follow me on YouTube. I might post this on YouTube. This 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 shit right here. This shit right here. This shit right here is crazy. They love that you made them happy though, but this person had a third party affair. Look at this look at this shit. I love you, but I'm in love with this person. This is the type of person they use people to get what they want. Energetically, they, this is this person could be like you feel this person broke, disgusted, like man, child. They may look like they good on the outside. They not good in the inside, bro. Spiritually, cuz they don't even have to be what they got in their wallet. It's spiritually this person is a zero.